Hello and welcome to this review of my holy panda switches. Yes folks, it's finally time. This is almost certainly the most heavily requested thing ever to appear on the channel, and it took me so long to get to it that people have already started hopping onto the next MX hack job hype train, the glorious panda switches, which are a slightly revised version of this, but whatever. These were a donation from a viewer, thanks again mate, and I'm reviewing them in my trusty, albeit cramped, IGK61 keyboard. Holy Pandas are an MX hack job, originally consisting of an input club halo stem in an Invia Panda switch, hence the name. These ones are from drop repro kits that use halo stems directly from Kai Hua, who manufacture them, and repro housings, as the original Invia housings are no longer produced. Many hack jobs along these lines have been made, and the effects of each minuscule change in parts have been the subject of widespread myths and vague claims. So it's high time I take a look at what all the fuss is about, I think. These drop ones are the only real, air quotes, ones you can buy nowadays, and they're quite expensive, around $1 per switch. This is probably partly because they come pre-lubricated, even though I think they claim that they weren't going to do so. Anyway, these have attracted quite a lot of attention, so what is it about them that's causing so much demand? Well, they're an MX type switch, obviously, and they're said to be actually tactile. Amazon even claims that they're the most tactile switches in the world, which is such a laughable claim that I can already reject that out of hand straight away. But in any case, the tactility starved MX hordes out there understandably flock to this, as I can already spoil that if you're used to Cherry MX Brown, this feels quite significantly different. So let's kick off with the one thing everyone wants to know, are they tactile? Well, yes, they are tactile. I mean, I could end the video right there, but actually there's a lot more to these switches than just that simple notion. Now, one of the things people say about the tactility is that the bump of these is different from most other switches. Namely, not really sharp, but much more rounded. Now, non-sharp tactility is not necessarily a bad thing, it just depends on your personal preference. Topra, for example, just like other rubber dome keyboards, also have this rounded key feel to them. And this gives it a quite different feel from sharply tactile switches, which again, is not necessarily good or bad, it's just different flavour. Now, although pretty much all rubber dome keyboards have this rounded feel, it is much more rare to encounter it among discrete mechanical switches. Some examples include brown and neon green Alps, as well as ITW magnetic valve, all of which I've reviewed before, and I'm guessing the halo switches that these holy pandas are made out of would have it too, but that's kind of about it. Switches with such a rounded feel are a bit like a mechanical Topra, if that makes sense. So like Topra, but with a more defined key travel and a harder bottoming out event. Now Harter, that magnificent man, has measured some force curves of these switches to show you what I mean. As you can see, the tactile bump starts all the way at the top and it's about one and a half millimeters long, so a fair bit. Of course, the pattern is very similar to the input club halo switch on which it is based. Now, one and a half millimeters might sound like a lot, but switches like Cherry MX Brown already have a dip of one millimeter, so the difference isn't actually all that huge. In fact, I'd say it's not that rounded to begin with. It's more of a middle ground between a rounded switch and a sharp one. Even just the shape of the force curve isn't really all that round. Here's the force curve to an Alps SKCM Brown switch to show you what I mean by a really rounded switch key feel. Note how there's pretty much no sharp angles along the key travel at all, and how the tactile bump takes up pretty much the entire key travel. And you know what, they don't feel that brilliant either in my opinion, it's got that same raspiness, that slightly saw blady or cobblestone road feel to it that other MX type tactile switches have too. It's like it's not really a drop, but more of a, a haptic feel. It's a bit like Zelio's, which had the same issue, an improvement to tactility, sure, but not a fundamental improvement. It's kind of difficult to judge smoothness in such a jagged feeling switch, but it doesn't feel overtly scratchy. But then again, scratchiness tends to be more of an issue with linear switches anyway, rather than tactile ones. So it's probably fine. I mean, they're even lubed, so I'm sure it's okay. 
Overall, first and foremost, yes, it's tactile. And of course, if this is your thing, by all means, roll with it. But considering how expensive these are and how little they fundamentally different from other MX top switches, I'd say you might be doing yourself a disservice by limiting yourself to the MX platform if it's really tactility that you're after. Because the way I see it, the tactility in these is all wrong. I'm wondering now how long the current hyped up MX hack job is going to remain popular, but really guys, isn't it time we looked elsewhere? I mean, how much can we really do by testing out every conceivable combination of near identical switch parts of the same single switch design? I mean, there are hundreds of switch designs out there, and Cherry MX is just one of them. And if it's tactility that you're looking for, I'd say Cherry MX might be one of the worst ones to look at. I'm just going to leave you with that thought. I hope you found the video useful. I don't mean to rant or anything, but it's sad to see people limiting themselves so much nowadays. It's like going to holidays yearly, but only going to the same city every time. You know, the world is beautiful. Try something new. See what's out there. That's it for this review. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And following is a typing demonstration of me typing on this keyboard.